Greetings Jedi Traders, David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the daily trend for June 15th, week 24, 2016. As always, please seek financial advisory when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only to support your knowledge in the market. See what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always manage your stop when placing a trade. Yes, it was FOMC. That's right. We had a little bit of economic data this morning. MBA mortgage applications not looking good there this morning. That was uh, followed by our PPI, but it was the EIA petroleum report. Uh, not with a good number today. Um, numbers declining, actually. Uh, we'll take a look at the charts here in a little bit. But it was all about the FOMC, the forecast, and the press conference afterwards uh, that led the markets uh, to where they went today. So let's jump right into our trading session. Focus a week 24. Taking a look at the charts today. Finishing up Wednesday. Uh, here, three markets, five setups. That's right, 330 ticks on one last trade, one big trade. You can see here the stats. That's all it took uh, to sit through a lot of chop. That's right, that early morning session, uh, as markets started to get to go, uh, started going, thinking, yeah, we'll get a nice run there. Maybe it jumped on it right away, but AD line was upside. So what do we have here is we have a divergent market. We got an NQ downside. We got an ES and YM upside. I just say, hands off. Looks good. You're right. Four charts in the green, four charts in the green. Just not my, uh, when I want to see market momentum, I'd like to see at least the three moving together. And right now, it's not a necessity, but at, from the get-go out of the market uh, open gates, uh, we were going two different directions. So hands off, hands off. And that's right. We did uh, have FOMC today, so almost almost a preclusion to maybe even just, hey, sit out the rest of the day, wait for the market to react, and then wait like stealth. And that's exactly what we did today. So there it was, trend number one, best trend of the day. When I say trend number one, yes, there were minor trends, but that was it. That was the big trend of the day. What kept you in? Well, first of all, it was the 5144 there. On a one-minute chart, that's right, 51.44, technical momentum to the downside. And there the entries waited for the break below the 25-minute open range. Uh, entry very close to three charts in confirmation, only two charts here as posted. Uh, but uh, we broke underneath the 25-minute open range. AD line was breaking to the downside enough. Enough of a risk to take to move to the short. Uh, waited till we got all the way down to key levels down below to at least take off one contract a rarity to run two here but hey what did i have to lose at this point just place this trade let it run place the stop at break even and she ran uh finally price action breaking to the upside decide at right here at the close to just close it out all right let's jump right in taking a look at the ad line today price action on the ad line there it was to the upside so ad lines breaking up you got an nq from the get-go that's going downside hands off uh did offer a couple opportunities small little scalps throughout the session and you could see what's going on here uh just leading all up into fomc so you just call it short and you say or at least not to take the short but you say holds off i'm gonna wait and that's where the move was right there on the breakout on the breakout of the uh, 25 minute open range to the downside t3 moving averages and then followed by the ad line uh coming down here to around the 750 line that's all it took all right let's take a look at the five minute ranges all right so multitude of economic data here we had the crude to the downside on the five minute uh five minute chart price action again holding at the highs of the session before crude came out actually let's go a little bit back there's that gap up on the econ data, but uh, market open on the crude pretty much staying to the 25-minute open range. Uh, econ data comes out, gets a lift, and bang, to the downside. Easier to trade on the on the range charts. We'll go ahead and look at that. But we finished down here towards the average low and the cam low. Taking a look at the three indices, you can see the majority of the session just wanting to really sit out. A uh, couple of small opportunities, like I said before, you wait out the FOMC results, you wait out the, the press conference, and all it took was once the press conference was over, bang, our biggest move in the session in the last, that's right, just the last 20 minutes, that's all it took. A lot of time to wait for such a move. It happens, and that's just the market, whether you were here or not. Uh, you got to have some patience. 
positions. So there it was. We pretty much hung out around today's open on both the YM and ES daily gaps uh, in between and 25 minute open ranges as labeled here on the charts. And we finish uh, basically towards the low and uh, we managed to get back down to that Globex low and where we finished out the session. Did we hit any of those FIB levels today? Yes, absolutely we did. We, I, got, I was able to get down into the downside as price action uh, managed to hit all three, all three, it actually ended up being the low of the session, the FIB projection level. So it's not an issue of uh, once a price action opens up for the day, are we going upside or downside? It's a matter of if the momentum is moving down there and exactly what happened with that last trade, uh, an opportunity if running multiple contracts is to use that target low as a place to take off one contract not a rule just an option all right let's take a look at the uh let's take a look at the charts uh jump right into the charts here we are on the crude again uh, price action on the crude here, waiting for the EIA re crude report. As price action opened up this morning, we saw a lot of chop before we had that nice pop. So T3 moving averages, four charts in add. This isn't one of the better. So again, this is all at the uh, crude report. Price action chops. Uh, pops up a little bit here early entry might have gotten you a couple ticks but you were all holding above the t3 moving averages what you're looking for is exactly this setup let's go ahead and maximize it right there buy signal holding above the t350 again something we've been watching lately the t350 and a 50 ema and there it is buy signal is much closer to the crossover you got four charts in the green so crude gave you a nice little pop to the upside Price action came back down, pulls back, and bang, three charts in the red. That's good enough for a short. Gives you a pullback, back downside. Might have stopped you out, but with four charts in the red, I'd be more lenient to let it run to the downside. So we are back in the 47s on the crude. Tag that together with the 5144, and you got yourself a nice trending pattern. Jump into the YM, take a look at the YM again. Everything about the FOMC. There's the move of the session towards the end. Three charts in the red, waiting for the breakout of the ranges. But again, did not break above the T3. You already got the NQ moving, the ES is moving. You jump on the YM and you manage it to the downside. There it was, the break below the 5144. Here again is F all FOMC here. And again, morning session had a little bit of a rough spot. Uh, as uh, price action uh, just barely getting to the upside again nice little move up here NQ you'll see here in a moment had a nice move to the downside but YM had a hard time catching up and uh, again not the best of entries as all, all charts were trying to catch up here and again my entry would have been if I was looking at this at the point at this time would have been uh, to the upside but way too far for the crossover so again a majority of session if you go back in the trade look on those five minute charts and you see all this mid chop session you just decide hey i'm just going to sit this out wait for and i do most of the time is i just simply wait for that fomc data to come out wait for the news conference wait for market action to decide where she's going to go and then uh usually takes an hour hour and a half after the results and numbers to come out to get a nice trending move and that's where we went take a look at the nq today nq again same picture we did have uh, a nice entry on the morning session there it was uh let's go back here that's uh that's afternoon there it was sell signal right here uh got a little uh, greedy there took an entry on two contracts thinking i'll uh, run it down and uh, just let it run right back up and take me out at zero. So no go on that, nothing flat. I uh, had a, a session uh, entry here around and around uh, the market open uh, for 11 ticks, didn't go very far, had four charts in the red, uh, took one entry, didn't go and stopped out. And pretty much this is where we were divergent in the two, uh, in the three indices. So setup number one over here, setup number two to the downside. Uh, again, did not take or yeah did not take this one as it moved to the downside uh you did have four charts in the red but again this is where fomc results came out so you're just sitting idly by again i would have never been able to catch a trade like that wait for the chop to settle break down below the 25 minute open range and there it was sell signal to the downside again the majority of the session in the pm and still a little bit choppy but had a lift in the morning and here throughout market really just sitting on top of each other 5144s 
All right, taking a look at the ES across the board. Again, same picture as price action just pretty much chopped throughout the session. But again, for most of you ES traders, you're watching the 5144, the majority of the session on the 5144. Let's go back a little bit as market opens around here. All right, price action breaks to the upside here on four charts in the green, so not a bad entry. But again, it was it was challenging here. You had uh, Globex high up here. You had price action trying to break to the upside again. These long tails. It was you know a couple bars up. Price action came back, took you out. Uh, it didn't get very far. So at some point. You just decide, you know what, I'm just going to sit this out, wait for FOMC. Uh, a nice action up here. Again, this is FOMC results coming out. No chance of getting in on that. Wait for the chop. Respect that T350 as price action came down. Got another lift. A little bit more chop. And you weren't going long here. Is again, waiting on that breakout above the Globex high. Never really got there. And uh, finally, shift to the downside on three charts in the red. That was all it took. Uh, below the T350. So you might not have gotten the original entry. You waited for the breakout below here as the NQ and the YM were already running downside. And using that 5144 in the end to keep you in the trend. Taking a look at the gold here. Gold kind of just sliding sideways. Again, not some uh, not some bad action. Again, waiting on the uh, data to come out here for the FOMC. Buy signal here on the gold. No market internals besides the charts here. If T3 moving averages crossing over, four charts in the green. Can't ask for anything better. Whether you decide to sit on this to the upside or just stop yourself out. Uh, got a nice trade here. Uh, nothing to the downside. Again, you're chasing the trade here nothing you're below the t350 here's another buy signal here uh towards uh you're almost after hours here in gold trading to the upside buy signal again you look at the charts there it is four charts in the green one two three four wait for the ha bar to be solid body tail up and put you in the uh trend uh to the upside so again not much moving on the gold but when you got volatility and you have uh uh, market action that just doesn't know where it wants to go. Watch that gold because that gold will move. All right, wrapping it up with the 6E here on the Euro. Euro again reacting to FOMC as we lead into the next week. Next week again with the Brexit vote. That's the big news here coming up again with a nice move. You got four charts in the green. You can see the 5144 for the most part was to the upside for the session on the Euro. Here it is uh, from the early morning. Again, overnight session was pretty much flat. Uh, but there it was. Uh, that was actually the uh that was the fomc uh, uh result a uh, data coming out and then a lot of chop here so again uh too much chop here wasn't looking for anything on the euro here again uh not easy not easy to uh find uh some moves here again you want if anything you would have stuck to at least taking the moves where you had four charts in the green this would have been more difficult this was only 10 seconds before the numbers came out this all ran up uh, pretty much quickly uh and I, you just look for the buy signals you go across the board you open up the chart you look for the buy signals maybe this entry here but again if you look here this is all at two o'clock eastern standard time so you would have pretty much not been able to capture any of these moves so pretty much hand hands off on the euro today just based on this strategy and the t3 moving averages on a 10 tick range chart all right let's take a look at the daily gaps here daily gaps price action again why i'm closed out yesterday 17528 almost managing here on the es to close out 5275 not there yet uh nq nothing to contend with we have an open gap upside 85 75 but still uh, dealing with both open gaps upside and downside on all three indices we have open gaps all the way downside and crude crude leaving an open gap upside of 5023 uh, our nearest contender being 46 43 and taking a look at the volume profile again we had a shift in our VPOC today on the crude now up to 4830 as price action pretty much holding to that 4830 there is the 600 day VPOC notice the gray lines all around mark them on your charts I believe ours on the NQ downside at 4290 anything of uh, notice here was again the crude setting a new VPOC here from yesterday's uh, recap and ES pretty much is climbing up to the highs here to close out that pock from Monday's session. All right, taking a look as we move ahead here, taking a look at the daily big pick on the crude. So where are we headed as we talk each day? T3 moving averages on the four-hour chart. Uh, 
our downside holding underneath the 144 now with resistance here. 50 closing in on the 144, but we are still in an upwards trend as long as that 50 is above that 144. We do have the next line down now looking at 45.98 is the 50 MA, so keep your eyes on there. You also want to keep your eyes on the daily gap down here at 46.43 as the next level of support. All right, taking a look at the... Uh, three indices here as we see nq good volume across the board today nq finding support at the 200 period moving average we're in the gap on both the es and the ym t3 moving averages all across the board downside and as of yesterday and now leading in today we are now in a confirmed downtrend on the four hour chart does not in any way indicate that that is where tomorrow's price action will be you always want to be ready in both directions but we do have an official crossover on a four hour chart using heiken hashi bars t3 moving averages 51 144 downside so confirmed downtrend so what does that mean as we lead into tomorrow watch that overnight session to continue today's move and t3 moving averages if the hike and ashi bars are leaning downside will continue to pull this 50 144 you may if at any point before the week is up remember friday is quad witching day uh, if we have in any way a pullback upside you'll want to watch for the 50 ema to be a level for resistance but if we do our are headed down watch for the 200 period move moving averages on both the ES and the YM. If we're looking on the NQ, wait for the breakout, wait for the breakdown below 200 MA. As long as the downtrend is on the four hour chart, you now look down to the open gaps, 52.75 on the ES, 39.75, and you'll look for the NQ uh, all the way down. That's right, no major open gaps all the way down to 40.17. So some long rides down there for the NQ since we've already in a downtrend. All right, that concludes today's daily trend. As we head into tomorrow, we got some consumer price index. Watch the jobless claims. Again, all these Red Star events is what the Fed has been watching, and it's all about quad witching, but really uh, it's all about next week's uh, Brexit vote. And that is what you are finding on the Twitter feed, and that is what's going to either wreak havoc in this market either way uh, some decision will come and uh, play out in the next week so eyes on the charts feel free to stop by at tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information my trading mantra one simple strategy any market any chart any time frame will keep you disciplined you can find me every day on twitter at trading fibs and as always i leave the crystal ball to the experts i only trade what's in front of me and on my charts and always leave your bias at the door when trading hey guys have yourself a blue zone day and watch yourselves out there volatile markets at hand have yourself an awesome day good day good night and good trading